Hey all, I'm Hummy at Hummy's World and we are here to look at how easy it is to create text within the shape in Photoshop Elements. Now I'm working in Photoshop Elements 11, 12 is already out and this tool began in Photoshop Elements 10. So if you have 10 or above, you can do this. If you have 9 or below, you have to get one of these shape files from somebody who owns the full version of Photoshop. And um, I have a tutorial and things on that too. I have a variety of tutorials. I was um, redoing and organizing all of my lessons on the guides and I realized I had one for the full version of Photoshop for this but I did not have a matching one for Photoshop elements and so here I am and it's really actually pretty easy we are going to get this shape tool and I opened my tool options and I'm using the custom shape tool this time. You can use any of the shapes and I've chosen the arrow. And let's go ahead and make my foreground color white so it's a bit different than my background color and I'm just drawing my shape. Now I'm going to activate my text tool and I'm not sure if you can see it, it's kind of small, but when you hover right over the line, you get an eye with a little squiggly through it. That is the uh, mouse icon uh, for going around the outside. But if you put your mouse within the shape, you're going to see it turns into uh, the circle and um, you can't really choose where to begin in Photoshop Elements. Uh, so basically it doesn't matter where you click down on your shape. It's going to put the cursor at the highest point. Now I'm going to go ahead and make this green uh, for my text so that we can see it. And I'm just going to begin typing. Um, we are typing inside of the shape. So you can see um, it's just started at the highest point. You couldn't really choose where it, it, it sets its own path. And we can also change the size and the color just like anything else um, when you're using the type tool. I can highlight it and change the color or change the size and uh, uh, change the font and uh, make it whatever I want. I can continue and fill up that whole arrow, but um, I want to show you how uh, if you wanted, uh, you still have this original shape layer here and you can group Control G uh, paper with it if you want to make it um, have a different texture and background or if you don't want it at all and you just want the shape of your text uh, you can make it invisible by clicking on this eye and then you would have the shape of the arrow I guess I could finish this let's just copy whoops it's trying to make a new text on me let's just fill this in real quick I just copied my text and filled it in. So we're going to click the eye and now you can see that it's in the shape of an arrow. This is a, a little bounding box so if I go to uh, the move tool and kind of click off there you go you can see it without that line around it. Um, if I wanted to I could even delete this just delete it away I don't need it and you see when you click on and make the text active again you're gonna see that that path is still there and so um, it's actually still within this layer and you don't even need that shape anymore it's up to you how you want to do it but it's pretty easy and um, I want to see what you do with these in your layouts. How creative can you get? 